So the typical day for me is to make sure the kitchen's running. I'm watching the food. I have thrown on dishes on, you know, to the menu. I watch the cooks. I watch the food going out. I'm in touch with the servers. My job is I'm all over this place. They don't know where I'm going to pop in at. As far as the minimum wage worker here, it would be your dishwashers and uh, servers. But the servers make tit or can be very well here. And, uh, but they work their tails off for it. The wages were low, but now we're starting to catch up. We started with the kitchen, you know, started with the cooks. And we're starting to bump them up a little bit, getting up to standard. I work through efficiency, so you get good people who can work through that. And, and it, it could be overcome. But to some small businesses, it could be detrimental. I was expected to work some tables and stuff like that to so-called increase my wages, but I won't do it because I feel that infringes up on the workers. And this is their job. I have my job. They have their job. And, you know, as long as we're all executing, we're going to be beautiful. Uh, some of your other states do have food service folks that are making two, three, four dollars an hour as a base pay. And then, you know, then they account for their tips and, and whatnot. I don't have a problem with that. But once you set the standard, you know, of a minimum wage, then, of course, you know, who's exempt, who's not, you know, it gets real touchy then.